Luca, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but you scored your first goal as a yeah. pro. How was that feeling? Uh, no, it was a great feeling. I mean, um, you know, thinking about, you know, being a pro now and stuff like that, I was, it was obviously a goal of mine, but, um, you know, we were kind of unlucky not to get the result. And, I mean, I was disappointed on that point, but, um, you know, I'm just happy to get my first goal and build off of it. Jason Bent, your head coach, said you, t you tapped a badge after you scored. How much yeah. did it mean as an academy grad to, to get that marker? No, I mean, I've, I've been here f for five years now, and I've obviously gained a love uh, for the club, and I've always had a love for Toronto FC. And it's always been my goal to play for Toronto FC. So, I mean, just hitting the badge uh, after my goal was um, a landmark, sort of, and um, uh, I was proud of myself for that. But, again, we got to just focus to, uh, on Vancouver next week and, and build, build off of this performance. You guys seem to turn the tide in the second half after a kind of rough first 45 minutes. What was the biggest change tactically that you guys made to kind of take the game to New York? No, well, we went three in the back, and then um, as the game progressed, we had a sort of a 15-minute spell where we had a lot of good chances to score, you know, maybe tie the game, maybe win the game. And um, as the game went on, we I think we progressed as a team. We went three in the back, and then once that happened, uh, we, got, we got exposed in behind, and that's when uh, some rough points uh, came into our game. But... I mean, again, we, it was a game that we could have won. It was a game that we could have tied for sure. And um, again, it's just a learning experience for all of us. And next time we get in that position, we'll be looking to take full advantage of it. You've been on the road for a while now. Has anything kind of stood out to you in terms of the experience, not only playing the game, but off the field and going to all these different places around North America? Oh, yeah. Well, it's a lot different. I mean, like, if you if you look at it, we've been, we've been together for three weeks now, like, on the road. And you just gain a relationship with the guys, you know, eating. Um, on the bus and on the planes and, and waiting for planes as well. So, I mean, just playing, for example, just playing cards with, with the guys, you just gain that special relationship that you want to have with your teammates, and, and it just makes us a better team in uh, the whole. So. Was it a bit surreal? You guys were waiting for your plane in New York, and the first team was waiting for theirs in Chicago, and yeah, you're hanging yeah. out in the same terminal. It was a bit of like, hey, I'm, I'm here, I made it. Yeah, no, that, that was cool, you know, and, and, and one day, you know, I hope to be sitting, um, maybe sitting with the first team, you know, on the first team. and. And that's and that's a goal for me. I mean, um, but again, yeah, just sitting sitting with them is an honor. I mean, there's a ton of great players in this club, and um, I look up to them. So it was a good it was a good experience and a good feeling for sure.